been a while. Welcome to Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. Oh, wrong button. I don't want to check out Azula. Azula! Hey! Right, go for him. How about we mix things up a bit? Yeah. Oh, costumes. Let's throw in... Angry Beavers! That's pretty good. I love that. <laughs> And we're going to do Arnold's grandma. Grandma Gertie. Too bad it doesn't have our cat outfit. What are Aang's outfits? Oh, I like that book three look. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. Give him, like, the uniform from when he snuck into the school. Loading times are a little long. Not terrible, though. So, I heard Azula is actually pretty busted in this. I'm already having fun. <laughs> Feels a lot... The controls feel a lot tighter than the first one. I'm already seeing, like, the improvements. Oh, hey, items. Remember when these weren't a thing in the first one for like the first like five months? Probably could have did higher level CPUs. Oh, I'm liking this. Because I'm doing right. Come Shit. Here we go. I'll show you true power. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was our taunt that I used earlier.
farting up a little bit here. Face the other way, Zula. After this, I'll start the story. Figured I'd do a practice round while people join. And then he just stands there and takes that. <gasps> Out of here. <laughs> the animations look a lot better this time, too. Oh, wait, what? No, 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 we're not doing that again. Look at that, clockwork in 3D. Looks very nice. They really nailed the Danny Phantom style this time. I'm gonna go for this one. Should be good. Mm. <laughs> Boy, bubbles is hard, SpongeBob. Let me show you, Patrick. It's all in the technique. to save your friend. Who are you? Did you take Patrick? No, but there's no time to explain. Time is short, and your friend needs help. Into this portal. Quick. If that's what I need oh. to do to help Patrick, I'm coming, Patrick! They even got Clockwork's voice actor back. That's awesome. If not, that's a really, really spot on impression. enemies. Good stuff. This is a lot like subspace so far. Which is going to add a lot of replayability for this game for me. Also, nice little Nickelodeon Zeppelin. <laughs>
That was the reef bar. SpongeBob made like a shit face, like right as it ended. Kind of like the stickers mechanic, I guess, or the spirits. Some chance of inflicting freeze, that sounds awesome. Or a seeking projectile every 10 seconds. Probably open this up for uh, online matches later too for anyone who has this. If anybody's interested. They added this map, like Oppa shows up, that's cool. Maybe he did in the first one, I just never noticed. I think that's new. The fact that this game has three different attack buttons instead of just two, like, smash, means I got a lot more moves to memorize. Ooh, 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 we gotta see this. That's so good. Yeah, he kind of moves about. There you are, Patrick. I've been looking for you all over the place, and there are a lot of places in this place. What if a woodchuck's name was Chuck? What then, huh? Um, Patrick, are you okay? My brain! Give me my brain back! But Patrick, you don't have a brain. If you don't give my brain back, I'll take it back! Patrick, I don't want to fight you! You're my friend! Brain, brain! Brainy, brain, brain! Brain! Brain, 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 brain! Brain, brainy, brain, brain! On the other hand, I don't think Patrick's quite himself right now. I guess I have no choice!
You okay over there, Patrick? Hey, intro. I'm liking this a lot so far. The controls are very tight. Patrick sure was acting strange. I hope that knocked some sense into him. Oh, my damage carries over. Interesting. Oh, this heals you. Oh shit. How do I change character? I can't? Okay. I'm here because of a call from Washington. Oh. Okay, so characters you unlock are like stocks. This place is where the magic happens, fellas. As I always say, I stand for truth, justice, and a balanced breakfast. <laughs> Beaver fever, oh my god. <laughs> Be, 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 be. Uh, life taxes, more damage. Ooh, I do do a lot of air attacks. I could heal 75% damage right now. It doesn't really matter anyways. Get ready for a high voltage Heimlich maneuver. Platform saved her. Because I'm about to find out. Let us start over. Rewind.
I should have got the health thing. Hopefully I keep the power-ups that I bought. You don't? Ah, uh, I should have got the heal. Uh, what? What just happened? My legs and arms seem to still be in the right places, so I guess I'm okay. You there. We need to talk. I thought that was it. The end. No more SpongeBob. But here I am, alive and well, and as absorbent as ever. Hey, listen to me. Hello? Hey, wait a minute. I'm on dry land. How can I even breathe? What the barnacles is going on here? I'm trying to tell you something, Sponge Boy. Hey, that's SpongeBob to you. And who might you be? I am Clockwork, Master of Time. I rewound time and brought you back here, just before you were defeated. You want to get home, and I can help. But we must take time to work together. Work together? Yeah, I don't think Mr. Krabs is hiring at the moment. Patrick, I'm glad you're all right. I was so worried. SpongeBob! Yay! You're in my dream, too! Awesome! Um, I don't think this is a dream, Patrick. Everything feels really... real. You've helped your pink friend break free from a bad case of mind control. Side effects include disorientation, dry mouth, and an urge to cartwheel. You're here because we have a mutual enemy, a ghostly creature named Vlad Plasmius. And so we are allies. Enemies? I don't have enemies. Enemies are just friends you haven't met yet. Besides, I'm not afraid of ghosts. Ooh, have you met the Flying Dutchman? He acts scary at first, but once you get to know him, he's not so bad as ghosts go. He taught us a ghostly pirate how once. He goes, uh, little, 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 little. Hmm. I assure you, this ghost is truly fearsome. He has gained the power to control the mind of any intelligent being, as well as your sea star friend, from any world he chooses. His ultimate goal is to control the minds of everyone in the universe. He must be stopped. Oh no, if he could control Patrick like that, think what he could do to people with minds. It boggles <laughs> even the mindless. So you see, you must stop Plasmius. To do this, you must find and defeat him in battle. Well, I don't know about that. I have a shift at the Krusty Krab coming up. And I want to get back to learning how to blow bubbles. Hmm, this might be harder than I thought. Gonna look around. No zone portal. <laughs> okay. Patrick should be a harder hitter, so I'm gonna go with him. SpongeBob's more of a lightweight. I always prefer medium characters with a good hit. Well, you look lost. I suppose you too were unceremoniously teleported here. Time manipulation, interdimensional portals, mind control powers. It is as fascinating as it is scary. 
This place is begging to be studied. I'll begin investigating its boundaries immediately. This could revolutionize the very foundations of science. It's so crazy hearing this voice after so many years. We really need to watch this show someday, Fluff. It's a good one. Meanwhile, do feel free to browse the inventions I have with me now. Surely you'll find something useful. It's been, what, like 15 years since that show was canceled? Yep, it's my life to teenage robot. Perk slots. Wait, what do the blimps do? Start all runs with an extra stock. Oh, that would help. And it's well made, if I say so myself. Blimps are used to buy temporary power ups during runs. Oh, okay. This actually sounds kind of fun and good for recovery. An excellent choice. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought these were all unlocked and then I had to add. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pick one. Oh, and you can upgrade them. That's kind of nice. as necessary to ensure your ultimate victory. This time medallion will make you immune to temporal changes, thus ensuring you remember everything that's gone before. You'll grow stronger as a result. You must keep it with you at okay, all times. leveling up. Understand? Good luck. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, but you don't happen to have a lucky peanut on you, just in case, do you? I hope they do more DLC after the first pack. I'd love to see, uh, maybe Sam Manson or, uh, I don't know, maybe bring back Powered Toast Man. I wouldn't mind them bringing back characters that were cut from the first one as DLC. Smash did it, so. Wouldn't be too crazy. Oh, shit. Spiders! Spiders, spiders, spiders. <laughs> Apparently, um, they actually modeled flattened versions of all the uh, fightable, playable characters to use during that, so everybody gets flattened <laughs> animations.
Also, this is a really nice looking stage. They did a good lot job on the graphics for this. Controls a bit. Three power ups. Hmm. I am Patrick. Stick with the theme. I sure could use some coffee. <gasps> it's Mrs. Puff! Mrs. Puff! Mrs. Puff! It's me! Patrick! Can you see me? I'm, I'm over here! You're standing right in front of me, Patrick. Oh, sorry. I must have been looking through the wrong end of my eyes. I don't think you can. Never mind, Patrick. Uh, did you hear about my brain being stolen? Maybe another time, Patrick. I'm, uh, so happy to see you. I have a little present for you. Run along now. Yay! It's so shiny. Charge attacks, 10% chance of granting a random buff. Ooh. I'm looking forward to getting to the bosses. Oh, these buffs are fun. <laughs> I'm like, this. Holy shit, it's a piranha plant. Spiders! 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 <laughs> That's actually accurate. <laughs> Bug a spider and squishing it. Uh, that actually fit perfectly. Uh, platform on the stage and reach the end of the pool. Ooh. One of those kind of challenge stages, like Smash has. Oh, that didn't go down as low as I thought it would.
three power-ups again. I have no idea who this is. I'm guessing she's from that El Tigre show. Yeah, that pretty much confirmed it. It sure is hot in here. Hey, that's got a certain ring to it. Lava or magma? I never figured out the difference. I mean, they're both, like, really hot. Fully charged attacks heal for 10 damage. Charged attacks. There's a chance of inflicting stun. Now, what if... Okay, I was curious if not hitting something would heal me. <laughs> if you could, like, farm health in here. Oh, this is a little bit more, like, classic mode. It's kind of short. Fucking combo. Well, gather around, everyone, gather around. I got something for you. Spiders! 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 Nice. Uh, every time I go for that grab attack, I get knocked out of it. That's a good attack. Oh, that's an ally, I think. I can't seem to hit it. Oh, now I'm hitting it. That was weird. I guess it just has a weird hitbox, maybe? survived that. Didn't survive that, though. Challenging Squidward to an Agni Kai, apparently. Just when I thought this couldn't get worse, Patrick. Yes! Don't you know? Action R! Go power! Action! This is Patrick! No! Squeeze! Don't you know? This one's on the What?
I probably I probably rose the difficulty too much. <laughs> Scrooge just fucking rewind. Dodged that and immediately I was dead. Someone needs to make a loud word mod for this fluff. That's what we need. Only by defeating Plasmius will you be able to return home. But there's more. He has already begun invading other worlds and controlling innocent minds across the universe. You must travel to these worlds through portals, like the one I used to bring you here. Then you must free others by defeating them in combat as well. Once you do so and return them to this pocket dimension of mine, the timeless star dial, they will be safe from his influence. Now that I've got my brain back, this should be a piece of cake. Ooh, now I'm hungry. <sighs> oh, and I can change costumes here. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty good. Greetings, friend. I am relieved now that your mind is free. Training. This is where we start dancing, right? Oh, it's there's no use to this other than just practicing. There's not like a leveling up thing here. That's what I figured it'd be. And back in. Though I should probably level this up and get more lives. Not enough. Oh, that costs the green shit, not the. Ah. Uh. Don't be careful out there. Oh, I can change the difficulty. Let's, uh... Maybe lower it down one notch. There is no world safe from the evil plans of Vlad Plasmius. You can get multiple with it. That's a good combo. Good noodle? 
You know, being trapped here isn't so bad after all. No boats, no lessons to give. And you know what that means? No students! <laughs> I'd like to get that random buff one again, too. That was a good one. It seemed like every hit had a chance of triggering it, too. Oh, we're absolutely going for Nigel. Smash <laughs> Tim Curry does a little bit of voice work these days, but I doubt that they uh, brought him back. Probably got the same guy as the last time. Oh, that, okay, that was a bomb. <laughs> that was one of the pie bombs. It's definitely the same guy from the last one. Wild Thornberries was a good show. It was one of my favorites as a kid. Yeah, as much as I like the meme about Mr. Dink, I thought Doug was kind of a lame show. <clears throat> Such a shame that Hugh isn't playable anymore. Like, they add him right when the game dies as DLC. Kind of makes me feel cheated a little bit that I got him. I always wondered what went on in Jimmy's lab. Yeah, now that I'm here, it's even more of a mystery to me. Your attacks grant you intangibility. Ooh. Ooh, that's perfect for me. There's a joke to be made here, but I don't want to get banned from Twitch. If 
Flying Dutchman. Apparently he's a boss. Patrick can shoot lasers out of his ass. Slime balloons. Get another character unlocked. That went well. Not being in control of my mind was horrible. Luckily, I had full control of my stomach. Talking a little low there, Garf. Gorf. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna get Ember soon. Hopefully. I'm probably gonna die before I can make it. Are you here for the space meat? Oh, wait a minute, this isn't a fight though. Maybe. Tractiles follow enemies. Wonder if this counts as a projectile. Finish. I do like that attack. I'm really excited about this. I hope I can do this with the damage that I have and down to one life. I can tell by looking at you that you sound nauseating. Yes! Plasmius is so lame. Stealing one of my moves and mind controlling me? I hate cover bands! Ooh, I'll show him. I just wish that you could switch characters between fights without having to die. So that you can actually experiment with different characters a little more. I 
That's... I am gonna shellack you! It's really a pity just how, like, ignorant of that show people are. Like, it's actually a really, really good show. It's one of the best shows that Nick put out. Definitely deserves a lot more rep, but I feel like it won't get much because it's got, like, such a small cult following. I have a feeling he'll be DLC later. People got too hyped up over him. And I think they're gonna see... That I'm wondering what this stuff's for. I'm almost at the boss. Hopefully there's a heal here or something. Damage. Double to it. Air dodges. Okay, I can heal. I'm gonna go for that. Play this safe. Sadly, I can't afford the upgrade for this as well just short. Next time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The perks. Jellyfish. First boss. Okay, okay, I'm fucked. I should probably stop using Patrick. He's got terrible recovery. Unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I had used up my uh, double jump already when I was trying to hit him. Ember's got more range. She's more of a zoner. I might like that. <laughs> Nigel's pretty good, too. He's supposed to be pretty broken. Let's give Ember a shot. Oh, hell yeah. I'm so happy they added this. This is, like, peak. I forgot to get upgrade. Oh, good. Right, right. I didn't go into the thing yet. I'm good. Is it supposed to sound like that? Mow, mow. Okay, this is like decoration stuff. I'll worry about that in my own time. Looking for some upgrades? 
should focus on the important stuff first. And it's well made, if I say so myself. Oh, whoops, uh... Use it wisely! An excellent choice! That's pretty good. Don't be careful out there! Now I can hold my own a little longer. I, that's probably gonna be like the first thing I go for is maxing that out. Look at how tall she is. Oh! Oh, oh, this is good. I'm already liking Ember a lot. So good that it's making me think about going to the groceries. Okay, that's a bad joke. I'm gonna stop it there. Really good radial. Smash attack. Oh. Oh, this is probably gonna be my main. When you do later runs, do you keep all your upgrades and stuff? Like a new game plus kind of thing? I think I'm gonna be playing a lot of this. I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm gonna keep the perks here. Okay, so that's what I was getting at is the perks. So if I complete the game and then start over, I keep my perks, that's cool. I said it before, I'll say it again. I got music in my bones. Luckily I also have bones in my bones, which is why I can stand up and write music. Never I thought would have thought that there would be a game where Ember is a playable character. <laughs> uh, the models look so good. You again? You bug me for the last time. <laughs> I actually remembered that I fought her before.
That's a really good attack. Break the targets. That's right. Tally the bill. Three, two, one, go! I miss having many games like this in Smash. Almost makes me wonder if having more characters is even actually worth it. Too many characters is the reason they stopped doing all these little personalized minigames. Just trying to see if I can hit it through the ceiling. This and this both seem really good. If I got two of those, like both of those, that'd be a really good combo. Finish. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm gonna get Dagon Norbit after this one. Oh, this is my favorite turtle. This is a good opportunity to test my latest invention. I <laughs> also, <laughs> nice her dipstick taunt. She always called uh, Danny that. Here we go. Ooh, we're gonna get Gertie next too. Lots of characters in this run. I was wondering, pondering, contemplating, speculating, if you couldn't possibly, maybe, feasibly, conceivably, go play somewhere else! <laughs> I'm so happy to see these two in the game. Ang and Rocco. I gotta go for Ang. Hope you've been paying close attention. 
It's nice I have something to do to keep my mind off this strange situation. I may not be a fighter, dear me, no, but I can help by giving out these wonderful gifts. 10% chance of getting a random buff. That's a nice one. I like that one. Don't Go for that. It's Gertie time. Time to kick some ass, short man. Oh wait, it was the grandpa that called Arnold that. <laughs> That's an entrance. Just floats down from the bubbins in the piano. Up some kid's grandma. Also, it's crazy to think her VA is still like active. She's pretty old. I'm gonna do later streams of this, this in the future. Ah, I got comboed off again. I gotta stop trying to do that. Sound like the new voice that uh, all these different games have been using for Aang. Sounds like his uh, voice actor's grown up a little bit. Voice is a little different. This time I'm gonna kick his ass. I got two lives. I'm gonna knock that crown right off your head. Uh. 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 And I missed that. Attack hurts. Oh, I accidentally wasted my slime. I was trying to use my final smash ability.
Probably not going to make it. Got you, fucker. Guess that was your swan song, wasn't it? Finish. Good bosses. All right, so I'm assuming like later runs. Yeah, I get the next boss. Looks like it's gonna be Shredder. Am I able to just return to the hub? I guess not. I guess I'm kind of stuck here until I die. Yeah. I figured maybe you could, like, go back between the chapters. Yeah. Yeah, I figured it was kind of like a world Fight. thing. New enemy. Whoa, a few new enemies. We got an alien from... Oh, that's one of the, uh... I was gonna say it was the aliens from Fairly Odd Parents, but that's actually one of the octopus ghosts from Danny Phantom. <laughs> nice SpongeBob movie reference. That was close. Oh, now I'm dead. Ember is amazing. Really good. Oh, I go back to World Bliss. Oh, start over. Rewind. Oh, that kind of sucks. That's gonna be fucking rough. How many worlds are there? Like five? When I went in, I figured that the worlds would be like a checkpoint. Okay, there's three. Well, that's more manageable. We just gotta get the right no! power ups built up. Looking for some upgrades? Upgrade shot. That would actually pair really well with those debuff skills. Oh, I should probably get that. Let's see what else there is first. Percent faster slime meter. Twenty percent chance of being epic. This could actually be busted if I power this up enough and um, I get that roll for that card that gets the debuffs on each power attack. That'd be a really good combo. I will do one more run, I think, and then it'll be time for the first interlude. I'll play some RuneScape for a little while on my own. Maybe take another attempt at the fight cave. Now that I understand the combat styles of that boss at the end. It's not just using the magic prayer to survive. Um, and when I come back later, uh, Persona 4.
that'll be maybe around four o'clock or so, maybe. I probably could have changed characters, but I'm doing really good with Ember, so. Good character. <laughs> By the time I'm done with this, I should be able to, I should be able to claim my, uh, was that 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock? I can't remember. The, um, final drawing for that Christmas event in RuneScape. If I could even get something out of that that's worth like 10 mil, I'd be happy. I'm not like expecting a big win out of the drawing. That was the end of the stage. There's probably characters that could skip this whole thing. Especially with the right power-ups. With the upgrade system, that uh, extra double jump power, that could actually get pretty wacky. Okay, I see. So, characters you've already unlocked will appear as like dark versions if you already have them. Ren and Stimpy. Not really much for unlocks this run. Whack as many bots as you can before the timer runs out. Mini game. Three, two, one, ready! The Technodrome. Or whatever it was called, I can't remember. Come on, hit it.
close attention. I used to love being a teacher, providing students with critical life skills, watching their eyes light up when they learn something new. And then I met SpongeBob. The buffs last some longer. No debuffer yet. Just something that enhances debuff. Ember's back and ready to fight. So good. Overstep. Obvious pick. My cabbages. Air Temple, 
My cabbage cart is rarely destroyed. Problem is, there aren't a lot of people around to sell cabbages to. Holy shit, it's really, really big man from Rocco. <laughs> Start all matches with super size, last five matches. It's not bad, excuse. Gained two stocks and three inches. Splat. Oh, I can't talk to him further. Also, that's a weird face he makes when you say when you leave. You could look at that. Is there like Ah, oh, there's no like camera mode. Look at that face. Absolutely gormless. That's a face built for deep throating cabbages. Speaking of faces, there's 3D Oppa. Finish. New character. You know what? I'll just kill myself. Eh, the voice isn't terrible. I've heard worse. It's better than having John K come back. Fuck that guy. Come on, give me a debuffer. As part of a balanced breakfast. Here we go. There's one.
Okay. I just need to use plenty of charge attacks to keep myself alive. I just realized I probably could have afforded more. I I'm gonna save up anyways. I can get more debuffers. Flying Dutchman. Different boss. That's cool. Differentiates each run. Perfect boss fight for Ember. Okay, I see there's barrels that blow up. I need a better debuffer. Shit. Yeah, this is a rough one. Wow, nice drop point. Yikes. So I pretty much just lost everything there. I need a better debuffer power up. Something that's guaranteed. Crowded. Well, that went terribly. It all went down the toilet as soon as I had to fight the Flying Dutchman. I am going to invest in some more perks, and I'm going to stop this for now. I think I'm going to return to this in future streams. Maybe beat the story mode on stream and also open matches
which I didn't do this time because I spent so much time in this. I'm due for a little break. So I've got a lot of streaming today. It's important to keep yourself busy, you know. Oh, I can't afford to, though. I gotta keep saving up. Do be careful out there. Well, what we got for characters here. We got quite a few. Not bad. Doesn't save your costumes, I see. Pause. Okay. Not bad at all. I think this is a huge step up from the first game. Time for another attempt at the fight kiln, or fight cave. I will see you guys later for Persona 5, or Persona 4.